Hello and welcome back to SMT3. So I want to start by talking about fusing because we've kind of reached the end of what normal fusing can do for us. What do I mean by normal fusing? I'm meaning we fuse thing A with thing B to create thing C. It's fairly normal, it's what we've been doing for the most of the game, but a lot of the more powerful demons can't actually be created this way. More powerful demons need you to do special fusions. Now special fusions are basically just a list of conditions that you need to do in order to get things to actually happen. Now some of them do require you running around, a lot of them require you to go into the fifth Kalpa, which we're not going to do until we've defeated the game, but some of them simply require you to sacrifice the right thing when you're doing a fusion. So, let's have a look at uh, one right now. Welcome so, to the Cathedral of Shadows. Right now, where we have gather. this one and this one. They will combine together to get thrown. Now, if we were to do this right now, we would just get thrown. There's an absolutely nothing else that we can get out All of All right. However, oh. if we were to happen to go in here and find ourselves a vile demon, uh, which are somewhere on this list, I'm sure, because I saw one before, but now, of course, now that I need one, they are completely missing from... Oh, there we go, F vile. There's, like, one here. Cool. Right, so if we get ourselves a vile demon... Are you sure? Um, actually, let me just check, because uh, it does actually matter what uh, abilities it has. Uh, yeah, I do want this one. Are you fine. sure? So if I get ourselves a vile demon, oh, we can actually get right. a much more powerful oh. demon out of it. Also, what I'm going to do is... I'm are you sure? While I'm here as well. Hmm. Just oh. no particular reason. All right. But... Um, now, if I go for this one and this one, and then fuse <laughs> them together and offer a sacrifice, we can create this demon. This demon is level 76, so it's right in our range for a party demon, and it is very, very powerful. It's got reasonably high HP, it's got very high magic, it's actually a fantastic member of our party. Now. The major downside of this is that because I haven't leveled the demons in the special fusion, we don't have a uh, good um, skill sets, but we have some alright skill sets, and that's why I said we needed to get um, Ari Habaki, because Ari Habaki has uh, some of our good skills that, well, um, we passed on to some of the demons that are in our party. For instance, Tetracorn. So we're going to put Tetracorn in here, actually I think that one came from uh, De Cariaba, um, but that's all right. Uh, we have uh, Mazandine, which is actually a very good one. We have the Heal as well, which we probably want to give it. And we have Life Gain. If we give it Life Gain, look at that. This is a demon that will definitely survive a hit um, from Bishamonten, which is kind of what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for demons which can survive being hit by Bishamonten on turn one, which will then allow us to have a turn two and a turn three and so on and so forth. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna give it a heal because that will also be pretty useful. And then after this, it's kind of dealer's choice for what we take. Um, Might is probably quite good, but I'm thinking force damage. We've kind of lost that out of our party, so it seems good to bring it back. And there you have it. We have a brand new demon out of nowhere from demons that were previously pretty useful. Are you sure? So let's fuse it together. I am Samael of the Vile Clan. Charmed, I'm sure. All right. Okay, so now we have this one. Now, unfortunately, we can't do the next thing. What would have been really cool is if I'd said, aha, so now we've done this fe special fusion, we can fuse this with something else which will allow us to create something even better. Um, well, actually, it is kind of true. We can actually fuse Samael with things to make even better ones. However, right now we can't because special fusions still fall under the rules of normal fusions in that you can't fuse anything that's over your level. And most of the other special fusions are actually above our level right now. But later, we can use Samael uh, as part of a sacrifice in order to create some of the uh, even better demons. So we'll probably come back to that in our mid-80s if we haven't already beaten the game by then. All right. So, now we've got our new demon, let's figure out how it fits into our party composition. I would think, looking at our party, it has to replace Black Rider, right? The reason why I think it has to replace Black Rider in our party is not that I think Black Rider is bad, but that I think Black Rider is bad against Bisha Mountain. 
um, and right now it is kind of bad. Like, I mean, nothing it does is particularly going to help us. It doesn't have a heal. It doesn't have, um, like, a blocking ability. It's just kind of there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take it out of the party and replace it with Samael. So, Samael's agility is 19, which puts it equal with Bishamon 10. So, we can actually choose which one we want to go second. Um, I think I want Bishamon 10 second. So, if I go into our party here, return to stop Black Rider and Atropos. I can then bring out Samael and Atropos. And that is our new party, and it's a lot tankier than the old one. Which is definitely a good start. Um, also, if we were to level this one more level, we get a res, which seems good. So, we might want to look into that. And also, if we level this guy one more level, I believe that we get four, four abilities to choose from. So, we probably want to have a look at that as well. How far is he off? 19,000... Oh, you're only 4,200 off. So that might actually be worth doing just for that one extra level. Yeah, let's go, let's go grind a little bit um, and see what we get uh, going. So let's go for a save. Uh, now the next question is where do we grind? Um, I think we should grind. It's either in the shrine or just out shri outside the shrine. It really doesn't matter, to be honest. Um... Where are we? Probably that one, yeah. Let's go, um, let's go f uh, grind in the shrine if we can, because I think things are slightly higher level there, but it doesn't really matter too much. Right, exit. Um, and we'll walk there with the, um, blocker on as well, which might actually work now that we have a more, um, highly leveled, uh, demon with us rather than Black Rider. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Does it actually block anything now? Let's see. I'll, I'll let it get to red and see. Let's see if we block anything. It's actually given us a long time. Demon, demons grow restless, so I do need to reapply it. Okay. Come on. And... Waiting for it to reset. No. Okay, so we don't actually block it. That's fine. No problem, we blocked that. Uh, yeah, okay, Bisham Montens are almost dead. How did that hit Bisham Monten? Did we not completely block its move previously? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess they must have got the, they got the extra turn, I guess. Maybe that was enough. Uh, prominence, high fire damage, random foes. That works. Okay, uh, and then the other two can just be snipped. There we go. So we have to do a... Oh, that one's not dead, huh? Do we have to do a res already? Wow, absolutely destroyed by these guys. That's a crazy attack. Love it. 2,000 XP. Okay, looks like farming outside is fine. <laughs> um, but we need to be a little bit more careful about it, I guess. Um, although there wasn't really a lot that we did there, we just kind of, well, you know, died. Uh, let's go for Bishamonten, Samael, and the Tropos. Cool. Then we'll do a heal with... Uh, does anyone actually have a heal? No. Basically. Nobody has a heal outside of the party. Well, that's a small problem, but we can fix it. Right. So now I know that these guys outside are actually a reasonable level for us. I'm going to actually head down here and then turn on, uh, you know, uh, the the Annoy the Demons one. There we go. Uh, yes. Turn that on. And now we should get non-stop encounters. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Uh, force is a good one here. Bolt Storm is okay. Hey! A couple of stops. We can attack. Now, we might get avenged, but that's okay. The, the crit was nice. Um, let's do this. I just realized it crit everything, right? I wonder if, some, if one thing is CC'd, well, do we get the crit on everything, or do we only get the crit on the thing that's CC'd? That'd be interesting to find out with attack all, because it's the same attack, so it might actually work on everything. Right, hit it. Cool. New enemy. Hello. Well, you're dead. 
That was only worth a thousand XP, but we've almost got Samael leveled up, which is good. Uh, let's get some healing going on, maybe some life stones. There we go. More back and forth here. Hello. Um, bolt storm. That's okay, didn't get anything there. Attack. Uh, followed by our prominence. Uh, kind of annoying what it hit, but that's okay. High almighty damage. Should kill the two on the outside. Nice, now we'll punch it. Not quite enough, okay. That's a horrible crit. Should still be fine. Hey, you dodged it anyway. Right. Got it. Hey, that's 2000 XP. And a level up for Samael. Nice. An extra magic is wonderful. The ability to res is good. Oh, we also got Avenge as well. Uh, may perform a heavy counter attack when physically attacked. Okay. Um, I think that's better than uh, one of these two. Let's get rid of the light one. Yeah. Physical repel? Repels physical attacks. Uh, okay. Well, I probably wouldn't have taken Avenge if I'd known, but um, let's replace that. Okay. Samael has just uh, ranked up to become one of the strongest members of our party in one level. That's good to know. Uh, now, I did notice our Magitama that we have on is this one. Nullifying Ice. We probably don't need it. Uh, is there anything else that we could get that might be a little bit better? We could get Makara Karn, I suppose. Which we could uh, immediately ditch. Or there's that one that was about light that we could get, right? We could get Null Light as well. Although, I don't entirely know which one we would give it to. Or which one we would replace here for it. Uh, we'd probably have to replace Petraja, right? How are we looking, actually, with our new party member? Do we actually need that anymore? Um, oh, right. Switch character. Uh, we would need it to block Bishamonten from dying from fire. Uh, not fire, from dark. But I suppose that's fine. Yeah, I suppose that's fine because we could just put Black Rider back in, I suppose. Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, okay. So it's not, it's not too bad. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's maybe go with that. If something has an instant kill... The problem is there's no way of getting it back, right? And it is our only Tetraja. Uh, what else could I get? Well, I mean, if I upgraded this, at least even if I get rid of Makara, even if I don't take Makara car, and I can see what the next ones are, and they're all probably going to be fairly in a, sim in, in a similar vein and fairly good, so... Maybe I'll just take... Maybe I'll ingest that one and see what we get. Okay. Let's go. Hey, we get to go first. Give me that zero speed. Nice crit. Attack. Perfect. A new enemy appears. I forgot what you're weak to. It might be electricity, but you're also probably weak to just being punched. Cool. Alright, we're getting there. Um, I'll use more life stones to heal us. Life stones do scale uh, with your le um, like with your HP, as in they always restore the same percentage. They're actually still pretty good at this point in the game. That's annoying. That's fine. First one's annoying, second one's good. Bolt storm. Uh, thunderclap. That's a one foe. Just pass, honestly. Um, yeah, Mazandine. Cool. And then one of these will hit all of them for uh, high damage. Bolt Storm. The attack's kind of okay. Kill it. Cool. Another 800 XP. Going strong. Right, uh, some more of these. I suppose I should use the medicine as well. There we go. Something like that. 
Back and forward. Give me another thing to fight. Is it electricity you're weak to? No. It might have been force, but I also get the feeling they used force, so it probably wasn't force. Anyway, that one's dead. That one's dead. That one's snipped. Cool. 700 XP. Back and forward. Can we get another 2000 uh, XP fight, please? I would prefer that to what we're facing. Alright. That's just annoying. Please don't do it again. Okay, um... Zero speed for the chance of a crit. One dodged. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. Attack. Okay, attack. Hey, we survived. That's good. Uh, I mean, I knew it, we would survive all along. Right, heal up. Heal up. Back and forward. Demons, no longer thirst for your scent. Well, we can't be having that. Let's get some more thirsting going and then back and forward. And what we got? Okay. Probably the most annoying enemy. I mean, we did use one in our party, but that's fine. Okay, let's spare you a minute. What do you think? Um, what do you think of what you're trying to accomplish? I'm sure it's the right thing. This unfounded confidence, quite formidable. I'll tell you some useful information. Demons have a variety of powers. All right, see you later, Suparna. Appreciate the uh, useless information. Nice and attack. Despite having almost full evasion, did absolutely nothing. Perfect. Hello. Ooh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Right. Uh, we're gonna attack that one. Could have used Bolt Storm, I suppose. Pass. Uh, one of these. Okay. Uh, one of those. Nice. Uh, I guess I'll try Bolt Storm now. I was gonna use Zero Speed, but let's not risk it. And then kill them. Cool. That works. Another thousand XP. We're almost leveled up. Right. Uh, chakra drops. We have many, so we should just use a couple to keep us going. Back and forward. I mean, it'd probably be more optimal to go back and heal, but I'm not really that worried about it. Um, I'd much prefer to not have the loading screen. Could both avenge. They didn't, which is good. Uh, Mazanda. Nice, and then snip. Perfect. New enemy appeared. Give us the oh, first turn against this thing. Absolutely destroyed. We leveled up. Nice. So we get a stat point. Uh, I'll put it into vitality given the fight that's coming up. Makara Karn. Uh, I am going to ditch Makara Karn. Mijio is next. I think that's... Um, like high almighty damage, which is probably better than Bolt Storm if I'm honest with you, but we'll see. Yeah, let it continue. We've been cursed. All right, well, back to uh, back to the healing spot. Right. Through here. And let's go back over. Got Malalink back to Shibuya. I was just in my head, I was like, I wonder whether different areas have different loading times. But, I suppose it's not that bad, at least it's not saving. Although I am about to save anyway. Right. In here, we're gonna do a heal. We're almost back to the same money I had before I did that special fusion, which is good. I think we had about 60,000 then. Right. Back over here. We'll amal link back over to... This place. And then we'll do a little save. Right. Save. Uh, replace. And then... 
it's time to get going. Right, still going to try and level up. I think I am going to keep going until we level Bishamontan up one level. The reason is uh, that if we level him up one level, we get all of his abilities, which just seems too good to pass up, really. So, uh, out here, switch us back onto as many enemies as you can give us, and then we just walk back and forward. Nope, nothing we can do there. Just checking out the corners now, I guess. Oh, hello. Um, bolt storm? That's okay. Attack. Uh, we can probably just attack again. And then attack again. Nice crit. All of that was only worth 600. Okay, we can do better than that. Hmm. I was wondering, maybe... Uh, there's something I need to try out after this, actually. Yeah. There's something I need to try out after this. So I think there's something to do with the, um... Oh yeah, definitely do that. Oh, also, our, that, that proved our crit thing. So, um, if we crit one, we don't automatically crit the other. Good to know. Snip, snip. Right. Oh, new enemy. Punch. Stab. Right. So, what I want to try out... Uh, and I do want to do a heal here is, um, what if I use this, followed by this? Does this only give us higher level encounters? Because it felt like we are getting a lot more lower level encounters than we should. Maybe I'm going crazy. Might just be luck the in the draw here, but... See, I don't know whether this one's a higher level encounter, as we've never seen it before. Okay, one of those. Um... I don't know. One of those. Uh, one of these. But yeah. Um, what I'm wondering is whether we get, like, the Harassic Felg encounters a lot because it was the only high level encounter it could give us with increased encounter rate, but. I don't know. That's annoying. Yeah, it gave us Suparnas there, so. I guess my theory's incorrect. Right. Um, attack the middle yeah. one. Attack all of them. Okay. Um, I don't know. Attack. That's fine. Okay, keep hitting them. One down. Cool, two down. We're getting there. It's, it's slow going, but we're getting there. We're only 6,000 XP off. All right, a little back and forth. Demon's no longer thirst for my scent. All right. Yeah, see, it only gave us one of those error mess- or so only one of those messages anyway, so that's fine. Oh yeah, we reflect physical. I forgot. <laughs> that's gonna take some getting used to. All right. Yeah, still reflect physical, by the way. Hmm. Okay, that is very useful. And then I, I was just looking at our, our our XP there. I was like, well, once we level up that, a Tropos only needs, like, you know, another couple of XP to level up. Wait, is that Tropos? Or was which? I think I was looking at a Tropos, but it's 14,000. But I was thinking, oh, it doesn't need that much XP before the next level. This is how you get into the point where you just grind, uh to the final boss, but that's okay. Nice crit. Kill that one. Uh, no. No. I would much rather just take the money and the XP off your corpse. Thank you. Right, back and forward. Uh, Bolt Storm. Only one got stopped. I think we're fine. Hey, didn't get any avenging. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that should kill all three. Perfect. 
thousand XP. We're only three thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight off. Well, you know, seen this fight before. None of them got hit, so I'm gonna pass. Uh, just because I, I don't want to get triple avenged uh, or even double avenged. This should leave us what one hit off killing them. No, they're all dead anyway. So, yeah, it doesn't matter whether I attack with Bishop Montan or not, to be honest. So I should just not attack with Bishop Montan. Okay, good to know. Hey, let me have the first turn. You still dodged, huh? That's annoying. Problem? Cool. Still got all three. 1,864 XP off. And... Fight. There we go. I get the feeling I'm going to say I hate you the game soon. That's okay. That's fine, actually. That, that's mostly okay. Alright, Bolt Storm. Uh, we did manage to shock one hit. Two crits, we got avenged, but that's okay. Uh, that should kill two of them. And then that should kill the rest. Oh, we also got, we had, we had to endure the event, uh, the event, but that's okay. Thousand puts us only 700 XP off the level up. Not too bad, a Tropos, uh, heal us up. Do a little, uh, back and forth here. And, uh, this might not be enough XP. I hope it is, but it might not. Right, attack. And get him. Nope, that was not enough XP. It was close, but it wasn't enough. Okay. Oh, we can kind of go around here. Still no reason to, but we can do it. And... Alright, what we got? Easy enough. Hit it. Stab him. And snip snip. Nice. There's the 700 we needed. Beach Montan leveled up. Extra point of vitality is great. Right. Prominence. Uh, you're not really our um, damage guy, but it is better than Thunderclap, so I mean, that'll do. Fire boost. You're not really our magic damage guy, so that's probably out. Detain? That's for recruiting then. Uh, prevents a demon from making off with payment. Uh, no. Hassle Happer? Hassle Happer. Physical damage to all foes, damage relative to HP. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up what Hapo ha Hassle Happer is, because that sounds um weird. Also, interestingly. Um, although the game is mostly frozen right now, the text in the game does not freeze when uh, I alt-tab. That is intriguing. I don't know why the rest of the game freezes when the text uh, does not does not freeze. That's weird. Hasso Happa. The first result is uh, this game. That's good. Okay, it's a recurring physical skill in games. It's a very high skill... Uh, a uh, very high level skill that damages all enemies for huge quantities of damage. Uh, by recurring, by the way, they mean it speed in two games. Okay, so it, it costs you 35% of your current HP. Uh, physical damage relative to the user's current HP to... Uh, it says to the user's current HP to all enemies. High chance of a critical. Okay, I'm reading the Devil Survivor tooltip and it's a lot better. The more full the HP the, uh, of the user is, the more damage this attack does. So if you're full health, this will do more damage. It's kind of like a one hit remove enemies from the field type ability. And it also has a high chance of critical. Hmm. Okay. Let's click in here. 
So, if we were to take it, what would we get rid of? We could get rid of attacks of attack all. Attack all is good, right? But, Hasso Happa is kind of like attack all, except we can also choose to attack one. The other option is prominence. Everything else is uh, non-negotiable, I think. Unfortunately. Let's get rid of attack all. Yeah. I think this is much better for uh, what we want to do. Right, so now we're going to head back. We're going to heal up and we're going to die to Bisha Monten in two hits instead of one hit. That's, that's my theory. But we'll see. Right, Amala link ourselves back to... Oh, I want to go to Shibuya. <laughs> it's not that far away on the list. Right. Uh, exit. Let's go heal. Okay. <laughs> heal them all up. Right. Back over here. Do a little Amala link back over to this one. And hopefully we can beat Bisha Monte. Now, I don't know. I would assume there's another enemy at the top of this place that we're going to. It just seems like the kind of area where, you know, you have to defeat the four kings and then you can face the mega king or whatever. But we'll see. Right. That's that saved. And let's go. So I think we can get there without uh, running into any encounters. I think that's our usual trick. Although I am going to need to reapply our restless thing. There we go. Reapply that. Right. Let's go. Oop. Around. And... In. Okay. Can we get all the way to the boss fight without encountering anything? That would be interesting. Alright. Bandal Shrine. We are not... Oh, wait, we just had an encounter um, be invalidated. I guess that means that our increased level is actually doing something here. Okay, down this way. And we're here. Okay. Well, we we just healed, so everyone's about as good as they're ever going to be. Is there anything else I could possibly do to increase our chances? Did I... Have, have I used everything in here? Yeah. Okay, we just gotta try it, basically. See see how close we get now. Because really, what we're looking for is how close we get to um, the point where we can just do damage each turn. We know we have to survive for a large number of turns. So, let's see. I was also wondering whether it would acknowledge the fact that we have it in our party, but I guess not. Okay, we also have a lot more HP than last time, so... Physical attack increased. Uh, well, I'm gonna guess you're gonna hit me with physical attacks this time. We're gonna reflect it! Not if it hits that one, which we endured, though. Okay! Okay! We are not dead. Um, I'm thinking bead is a good first move for us here. Just... Seems good. Right. Uh, raising party defense seems good. Lowering his evasion and hit rate. I don't think that he actually raises his evasion and hit rate. So I think this is a good one to lower for him. He does lower our dodge ability, but I mean, we'll take what we can get. Um, I could do this, which would force him to use magic up next turn. Yeah, sure. Tantra card. That'll force him to magic up next turn. I could choose Makara card, which will force him into almighty damage. Not really what I'm looking for. Raise our defense. And let's see what he does. Lowered our defense. Lowered our stats. That's it? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um... Do I have, like, remove negative stats from us? Uh... 
No. <laughs> I do not have that thing. Wait, sacred water? No. Re really, I don't have any... Huh. I don't have any ability to remove negatives from myself. Interesting. Um, I could just attack him or I pass. These are my two options. Attack or pass. I might as well attack. Right, we've done damage. Um, let's just try. I should have probably used fog breath, but that's okay. We can act we actually have enough to do it anyway. Uh, pass. Another fog breath. Puts him down to negative four um, accuracy. He's probably going to apply negative stuff or buff himself, so let's see what he does. Fire, that's absolutely okay. I didn't put on my fire blocker. Not very smart, but they're okay. Uh, we can heal. Attack. Nice crit. I should be using focus. That's okay. Let's see what you do. Raising magic attack. We knew this was going to happen eventually. I'm probably going to die because I don't have absorb fire on, but that's all right. That wouldn't it wouldn't have mattered for this build anyway. Pop, nice to see you. Right. Um. Heal. We did survive it at least, which is a positive. Attack. Okay. We're not really at a point of equilibrium yet. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, we're, we're dead on this fight. That's a great reflect. That might actually be one of our ways of winning, is reflecting a powerful hit. Yeah, okay, we're dead. I wasn't particularly trying to keep us alive on that last one once I realized that we had the wrong uh, Magitama on. But that was a lot more achievable. It was still difficult, but that was an achievable uh, goal, I think, to beat that boss. Okay. The reflect on physical is actually really nice. Yeah. Okay. So, Magitama. Switch to Gehenna. There we go. That's going to make life a little bit easier. Also, Black Rider does not have more HP than a Tropos, unfortunately. Okay. I was just checking there because if a Black Rider had more HP than a Tropos, we could potentially have used Black Rider instead. Um, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I also don't have um, blocking things on, I guess. Okay. That's fine. Bolt Storm. I mean, this doesn't matter at all, because I can, uh... Can we just kill you with that? No. Uh, because I can use Shackle Drops and Life Stones to heal us at the other end anyway, so... I mean, it really just doesn't matter with what we use here. Right. Demons grow restless. Oh, I guess it just attacked us through the grow restless. That's okay. Let's go. It was just one of these random ones that just gets you. Alright, it's fine. Uh, in here. Yep, happy to go. Surrounded by the light, got it. Let's go. We might be able to reach it in one go. We need this to be invalidated, but we didn't. Okay. Attack. Attack. Nice crit. Not dead, huh? Okay, it's fine. Most blocked and we only two. Yeah. You know, half of our health is damaged, that's fine. Uh, two life stones. Cool. Get to the red light. Right. Now, down here, and we're ready for the fight. We have Gehenna on, which is very good for us. So we will absorb any fire attacks, as Bisha Monten will also absorb fire attacks, or repel fire attacks. Samael will reflect um, physical attacks, and a Tropos, well, you're trying your best. Right, let's go. 
So this is telling me, actually, if a Tropos dies consistently, if we replaced a Tropos, we would actually have a chance. But I think we have a chance now anyway. But anyway, let's try it one more time. See what happens. Alright, Dragon Eye, what are you doing first this time? Surprise me. Oh, it's physical. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.